How's it going YouTube? Today I'm going to be playing for you Stratus Carcour. As you can see we got this uh, weird list of Stratus things, stupid station wagon car that fucking sucks. But yeah, so I decided I want to make a second video for today. I just got done playing this. Uh, major props to the guys. The guys, look, the guys that played with me a second ago. I just ate a uh, cake batter donut that I got from Dunkin Donuts, which was fucking fantastic. YouTubers get sponsored by people all the time, or by companies all the time. I really wish Dunkin Donuts would sponsor me. That'd be like the coolest shit in the world. So if, if there's a Dunkin representative out there watching this, you know, just be sure to go ahead and sponsor me. Let me get let me get all those uh, free donuts, maybe some some free coffee, and and I will promote your shit constantly. But okay, anyways, yeah. So major shout out to these guys that just played this with them. Uh, I'm trying to remember the dude that won. Uh, Bear Bamry. I was about to say Barry. <laughs> Fucking Barry. Bamry is the uh, the guy that won last time, so I ended up getting second place mainly because uh, one thing I've noticed is that with these car parkours, these races or whatever, there's a lot of weird like techniques and shit that I was pretty much completely unaware of up until I started playing this. And I'm like next to dead last, so I need to probably you know hurry up and need to stop talking so much. But um, there's little things that like I, I guess I, I've never experienced because I've never bothered too much with these races, and hopefully I'll I'll get better at it you know over time. But, like, one of the things, uh, there's a part that's coming up, actually, where, uh, okay, what the fuck? Oh, well, I hit the, the spot anyway, so it doesn't matter. But, uh, there's a part that's coming up that you hit these, like, the little markers that, like, slow you down and stuff. And I, I just completely went about it the wrong way the last time I played this, and I kept fucking up on it. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get through it this time pretty easily. But, as you can tell, obviously, this started off a little bit different. And I guess some parkours in that you know it kind of has like some regular checkpoints at the beginning, but I promise, I promise there are like parkour elements to this. But okay, so yeah, we're getting to this part right here. That the the first couple times I did this, I kept just like going slow right here, and it's you actually have to like go really fast right there. And then the other part that's kind of tricky, in case you guys ever decide to play this, I don't know. Maybe if I'm feeling generous, I'll put the link in the description. But um. It's just, it's a lot of work to, <laughs> to like find it on Social Club again and then like go post it. But another little tip in case you guys decide to play this, you, whenever you go across this, just hold back on your analog stick and your car should just kind of like bounce off of everything and like just float. Or just, <laughs> or just do that instead. Fuck it. You know, no big deal. Whatever, right? I can't remember if it, oh my god, it's going to make me do all that shit again. I, I should not have been goofing around. I fucking goofed. Alright, so... Anyways, yeah, the whole thing is when you get to that that little spot where like all the platforms are kind of like separated and shit You want to like hold back on the analog stick so that your car when it hits it it just kind of like Floats across the top of them kind of almost like a rock skipping across water. I feel like that's such a good analogy It's like I, I feel really really intelligent for having said that but okay I'm kidding, but it, it is a pretty good analogy I'm not gonna lie because it's literally just like you want to get yourself like straightened up here I am in fifth place explaining to you guys how to do something <laughs> as if as if I'm like some sort of expert on it. But yeah, you just want to get like straightened up and then like hold um, back on the analog stick and it should just kind of like glide across the top of it the way that that did. Please don't go off the side. Oh. But yeah, I picked this parkour because um, I, don't, I don't think I hit a checkpoint yet so I better be a little careful and make sure I get to the checkpoint first. But I picked this because there was a, a moto parkour that I had been like messing around with that I hadn't completed but I made a really <laughs> a really cool thumbnail for it and I was like super excited to oh come on dude oh come on what the fuck kind of shit is that but I, I made a thumbnail for the parkour before I even finished it and um, I feel dumb as hell for it because I can't complete it now so I have this really cool thumbnail that I can't use but it was this moto parkour that had like a bunch of really hard parts like really difficult parts um, and then to end it, you have to like glide to the finish line, and that doesn't seem like a big deal until you realize that the, the finish line's literally on top of a building, like a very small building. So you have to like glide across the. Um, did I make that? You have to like glide across the uh, the map, and then like get lucky enough to um, to like land on the building and stuff, which is really fucking difficult. So. Thank God I set this for non-contact. This would be a nightmare if I tried, if I tried this as like a contact race. But yeah, I'm gonna go kind of slow right here. I'm not I'm not too concerned with like getting first place or anything like that. But that dude is still struggling. I I feel that. I definitely feel that. Oh shit. 
I got really, really close. Uh oh, somebody else finished in first place. Look at these little speed demons. I'm trying to fucking go slow. Mainly because I want to extend the video to 10 minutes, but also because I don't want to get knocked off. Oh shit. Okay. Don't fall. I have to say, I mean, even though I'm not the biggest fan of this vehicle, it's it's a lot better using something like this opposed to the, the parkours I've been trying to play today where I use like a motorcycle that, you know, the, the parkour is really hard to use a motorcycle on and etc, etc. Um, so, oh, oh, no, 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 oh, he's gonna fucking fall, oh my god, <laughs> and he fucking exploded too, it's like a fucking icing on the proverbial failure cake. Why, and why did the volume for the music come on? I, I turned the music off for a reason, jackass. Mainly because I don't want a copyright strike, but also because I can't focus on the parkour when I have music playing. I'm kidding. I can focus on the on the, the parkour with music, it's just I really don't want a copyright strike. YouTube is pretty, pretty adamant about that shit. It's crazy, like I remember I got a, a strike for, um, I played, I made a, a live stream a while back and like in the one of the lobbies, like when the lobby was loading, you know, people were joining. I had the music on, and like a song played for like 50 seconds. I'm gonna fall again. Fuck. Well, anyways, a song played for like literally 50 seconds. Like not even kidding. It was no more than 50 seconds. It actually said that in the the copyright strike. It said 53 seconds to be precise. But um, like within minutes of within minutes of the of the live stream being published, because like. Whenever you live stream, like, you know, it's live, but YouTube doesn't actually publish it as a video until, like, probably, depending on how long the, this live stream is, but usually no no sooner than, like, 20 or 30 minutes after the live stream. Um, so, like, as soon as the live stream got published, published as a video, I fucking look at, on my, uh, I get, like, an email from YouTube, and I'm like, oh, what's this? I had a copyright strike within, like, 30 minutes of the live stream being published. I was like, what the fuck? They must have like some sort of automated system like monitoring that sort of thing. But so ever since I've been kind of paranoid to make sure I don't get like copyright strikes. And I apologize that I've taken so long to do this fucking part. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I'm going to cry. I'm not really going to cry. When you've tasted the the bliss of the the cake batter donut from Dunkin Donuts, you'll never cry again. Looks like I'm going to finish in dead fucking last though. Has anybody finished yet? Uh, shit. I actually don't. Does that mean that they finished? I really hope that doesn't doesn't mean that. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't. I don't do enough of these races. So I'm still not completely familiar with this stuff. No, I know one person finished. I did not fail this bad. <laughs> this is pathetic. Hopefully, you guys are still watching. Hopefully, we're gonna get serious about this and complete it this time. I did not struggle this bad with that shit last time. Last time I was like, I got through it no problem. So this time, this time's gonna be it. It's the magic right here. Take this shit seriously. Sweet. It's almost like, it's almost, if I had to like parallel this to anything, it's almost like doing the, the windmills when you're doing like a regular parkour. Like not even kidding, like just having to like wait and time your shit right. All right. All right, so we worked our way back up to fifth place. Like I said, the placing is not important. It's not as important as like just finishing the race. I was mainly focused on getting the 10 minute mark, but clearly that's something that through my failures of being uh, not very good at car parkours and stuff, we'll be able to reach that 10 minutes easy. Fuck, come on, man. What are you doing? Why is the thing going to the fucking left? I think it's being retarded. All right, there we go. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? What does it take for this car to fucking go in a straight line? Like, I'm not even hitting the analog stick. How the fuck is that thing doing that? This should have been finished by, like, six minutes ago. No, I'm not that good. Alright, so we're just gonna go through this. This is not that hard. Shouldn't be this hard. I don't know why it's taking me so long. I apologize for, for failing you guys. Finished in third place. Fuck! I'm about to get a DNF. I think. I think it's after the third place finishes it does that shit. Yo, chill. What is this thing doing? This thing is like 
literally succumbing to gravity. It's like... Jesus Christ. That took so much longer than it needed to. And it looks like there's somebody, like, off the map. Like, what is that guy doing? Finished in fourth place. Oh, no. Oh, we are so gonna get a DNF, man. That's fucking... That's terrible. Maybe I can race it somehow. I don't know. I don't think it's happening, but we'll try it. 11 seconds. This is gonna be fucking epic. Oh my god, four seconds. We are so not gonna get it. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't fucking finish. Fuck it, whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Even though I got a fucking DNF. I was too busy talking and not focusing on the race. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, especially since it's the second video of the day. But hopefully you guys all have a good day.